Hello Mac Warriors. Today I will talk about the Thunderbolt 5 Double S. But before I start, I would like to give a big thanks to Baradul or Morten Metal for his shout out for my previous Zoo 6S video. As a gesture of appreciation, I have an extra match at the end of this video that me and Baradul fight in the same team. You can check the links in the description. Okay, now let's talk about mechs. The Thunderbolt 5 S is a 65 ton heavy mech that comes with 7 energy and 1 missile hardpoint. Thunderbolts give a high emphasis on energy weapons. This particular variant specializes a bit on the medium pulse laser due to its quirks, that before the skill tree were more extreme, but now, with a combination of the skill tree and the new tech, the 5SS is not restricted solely to bolt medium pulse lasers anymore. The 5SS comes with a minus 10% energy cooldown, a plus 10% generic energy range, a minus 5% energy hit, a plus 5% medium pulse range, a minus 15% missile cooldown and a plus 10 structure at each side torso. Something very useful about Thunderbolts is the right side torso mounts that make for a nice high mounted energy cannon that can shoot easily above obstacles and terrain. But at the same time, Thunderbolts are wide and bulky mechs with no extra armor, unlike other IS heavies with similar profile. Thankfully, Thunderbolts have somewhat good arms for shielding the incoming damage and their reliance on energy weapons means that they don't face the enemy for too long. Also, the cockpit placement might need some time to get used to at first. With all this in mind, I will show you three builds that in my opinion make good use of this mech. The Laser Storm Two large pulse lasers, two ER medium lasers, three medium pulse lasers, one targeting computer MK1, 16 double heatsinks with six external, we used light ferro, endosteel and a light engine of 300. With this build, we try to exploit the generic energy range on our two large pulse lasers that are extremely high mounted and the two ER mediums play the role of a cheap version of a third large pulse laser, at least in terms of range. And the specific medium pulse range quirk that combined with our skill tree and the targeting computer has almost 300 meters range on this mech, making them instead of a close range weapon into a medium range weapon. The idea is to shoot at the first phases of the match the two large pulse lasers and the two ER mediums at around 4 to 500 meters and when the fight becomes tighter we shut down our two ER mediums and we alpha strike the extremely low duration combo of our two LPLs and the three medium pulses. Since we don't have that many hitsinks, alpha striking all of our lasers constantly while possible in a cold map, it is somewhat risky in a brawl. The Green Store 6 medium pulse lasers 1 snub nose PPC 1 rocket 15 18 double hitsings in total with 8 external We used endosteel and a light engine of 300 With this one, we utilize to the max the combination of the 10% generic energy range quirk and the 5% specific energy range for our medium pulses. Instead of putting a 7th medium pulse, I decided to place the snub nose PPC that has similar range on this mech and gives a bit more alpha strike potential. We have more hitsinks this time that can easily sustain the medium pulses alone, but you have to be careful with the snub nose hit. Also, we have placed the rocket 15 for a one shot salvo. A variation for this build is to remove the rocket and the targeting computer in order to replace the snub nose PPC for a large pulse laser and an extra heatsink for easier aiming and heat management. And for the third build, the Firestorm. Six medium lasers, one MRM-40 with three tons of ammo, a targeting computer MK-1, 
16 double heatsinks with 6 external. We also used endosteel and a light engine of 300. This time we completely ignored the 5% range quirk on the medium pulses and we instead use only the generic 10% energy range on our regular medium lasers in order to fit the MRM-40. The MRM-40 on this mech is not only extremely high mounted but also fires 15% faster. This is a brawling but also a fire support build since we have very good range for a brawler. But again, we don't have that many heatsinks since we are in a 65 ton mech, but having a 70 alpha strike in a mobile heavy is worth the extra effort to manage your heat. As for the skill tree for the laser storm and the green storm, in firepower we went for 14% range and the minus 10% heat. In mobility we went for max speed tweak, 14 kinetic burst, 14 heartbreak and some torso speed. In operations we went for full cool run, some heat containment and hill climb since we don't have jump jets. In sensors we went for 60% radar deprivation and full seismic and the extra consumable slot. For the firestorm build we remove a lot of operation nodes in order to get our missile nodes. In the laser storm match, we are in Green Plexus, which is a good map for our build. As I mentioned in the mech lab, at the early phase of the match, at around 4 to 500 meters, we will use our high mounted LPLs and, when possible, our R mounted 2 ER mediums for a nice 30 damage. get fully engaged in combat though, we stop using the two ER mediums and we alpha strike all our pulse lasers.
torso destroyed. Large pulse laser destroyed. Heat sink destroyed. Target destroyed. Let's see the end score and go for the Green Storm build. In this match, we are in Mining Collective, which most of the times is a close range map. We will try to use our extremely low duration medium pulses, along with our pinpoint snub nose PPC for instant pinpoint damage shots at medium to close range and then go back and cover. This build has almost zero face time, which is good for our bulky Thunderbolt. Let's go for the Firestorm match. This time, we are in Turmalin Desert, a very hot map. It will be a challenge for our hot mech. Good one. Unlike classic brawlers, with this mech we have the range to play the fire support role and suppress the enemy from good distance.
since I saw our friendly annihilator stopping his push, I decided to change position. The extremely high mounted MRM 40 is great on this. Now it's time to melt some metal with Baradul in the bonus match. They got top pretty good, about acquired. six up there, so watch yourselves. Push it, push it, push it, guys. I'm not the platform here, here's the party. Don't look for that guy, I'll get you killed, man. Maybe, uh, maybe not for another mission. New target acquired. Guys on the right, let's shoot around right, Echo. Push down, guys, push down, right side. Down the fight. Roger. You're out, you're down below, man. Going to the right side, we're going over there. Sure, sure, sure. We're going over food, stop the unit. He's going up the ramp. He dropped. Lead on. Kate is almost laid. New target acquired. Rolf. Left guard destroyed. New target acquired. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of Let's Talk About Max. Oh, and I have damage more than half of Excellent.